Hello and welcome to Richmond TV's Community Focus. I'm your host, Jason Robbins, and we have a great show for you lined up today. We have uh, Coach Day and Hayden Bastian here to talk about the re uh, Richmond wrestling team. And then we have Eleanor Schmidt coming in talk, uh, from the RHS Drama Club to talk about Annie. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Richmond TV's Community Focus. With me now is Coach Brandon Day. How you doing? Good, how are you? And Hayden Bastian, Hi. senior uh, at Richmond High School. How are you guys doing today? Good, excellent. Good. So how did the Richmond wrestling team start? Get start? Um, well, it started, this is actually the 50th anniversary of the Richmond wrestling program. Um, it started, uh, Don Redke was the athletic director at Richmond High School and, and uh, got wrestling started 50 years ago. and. Uh, Went through you know various ups and downs, and I uh, was really good in the seventies. Um, uh, coach, I'm trying, his name is slipping my mind right now. Um, in the seventies, they're really good. They won ten league titles in a row. That coach left. The eighties kind of dropped off a little bit, mm -hmm. and then George Hamlin came here in nineteen ninety one, and uh, we've been good ever since. So, <laughs> how many state uh, wins have you gotten so? Far? We've won eight state titles, and we've taken second seven times. Wow. So 15 appearances in the finals and you know, over 20-plus appearances at the tournament where we've you know, participated in the quarterfinals or semifinals, but 15 actual finals matches. So How did you get your start as uh, coaching the Blue Devils? I uh, actually, a student taught at Richmond, a good mm -hmm. friend of mine in high school. His dad was a teacher here. Uh, we wrestled with each other in college. His dad was a teacher here, and I student taught with his father and with George Hamlin, and I student taught and got hired that, that following uh, fall and been here ever since. So from 02, 03 to, to now. So What makes wrestling uh, so special to you? Uh, just that, you know, you get out of it what you put into it. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like other sports where, you know, you're born and you're you gifted, you know, you really unbelievable abilities to be fast or jump high. In our sport, if you work really, really hard, you, you can be really, really successful. And, uh, you know, you can't, you can't cheat it. It's, mm -hmm. it's the most honest sport. I mean, you, if you're not working hard, you're, you know, or you're not lifting weights, you're not in great physical condition, you're, you're, you're going to struggle. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, luckily, we've got great, hardworking kids and committed parents here that, uh, that do the right things all the time. And we've been pretty successful as a result of it. Okay, now I know looking uh, from recording the games and looking at the different schedules, I noticed that there's two different types of wrestling teams. There's the varsity and then it says B team. Can you explain what that's all about? Uh, that's just for scheduling purposes. All of our guys are, are varsity. I mean, we we have, you know, we had a freshman take, you know, sixth in the state this year. Right. Um, so we're, we're, we're lucky because of, you know, our parents work hard and they fundraise. We're able to put two varsity schedules out there. Okay. So it's like when Hayden was young. He had the opportunity to wrestle on the B team and the A team. Um, we, we have lots of guys. Dan McKern, this, uh, a guy for us this year, made the state tournament, wrestled a ton of B team last year because he was backing up his brother Colton. Mm -hmm. But he got to go out and wrestle like everybody else in the area's varsity. Let's say like Hayden and Colton were in Ohio. Danny got to wrestle all the kids that, you know, from Yale or, or KPAC or, or uh, you know, the local area teams and, and get good varsity matches so that when he stepped in the lineup this year, he was ready to go. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Now, Hayden, how long have you been a part of the wrestling program? Uh, since seventh grade, so about six years now. What made you, uh, what made you want to participate in wrestling? Well, I, I always was interested in athletics and like to stay in shape myself, but uh, what got me into wrestling was partly Coach Day, my older brother, and my football teammates that uh, really encouraged it, said it was a great program, great coaching, and my older brother ended up joining, and I just decided to go out for it. Okay. Um, it, out of all the different, uh, all the, out of all the different uh, sporting events that you do, is wrestling your favorite? Probably. I'd say it, it takes a lot of hard work, and uh, the season is really grueling. It's, it's a lot of dedication to get through such mm. a tough schedule, but uh, and it's the most rewarding. And still being able to maintain your grades, too. Yes. Yeah, so. Unfortunately, that is, that comes into play. Yeah, well, I mean, it's all about a right. uh, big part of the program and really gives you guys a good life lesson on how to mm -hmm. be able to manage a lot of different things at once. Oh, yeah. So, it's, 
You made it to you made it to individuals this year, correct? Yes, yes, I did. Is this the first time you made it to that you've done individual uh, the individuals? Oh, uh, this would be the second year I went to individuals. Last year I went to individuals and took fourth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you won this year, right? Yes, I took first this year. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so what's it what's it like after ha being part of the wrestling program for so long to, for your senior year to have that moment of. I don't know if you guys stand on a podium, but yeah. in, a set, in a sense, you know, standing on the podium that you're the best in the state individually. Yeah, um, it was really cool. It was a very interesting experience, and uh, it was fun to go through all these kids that, that were supposed to be really, really good, and our team is so, I don't know how to say, but like compact. We compete with good kids all the time, mm. so you don't realize how good you are, how much you improve until you step out of that wrestling room, because I'm wrestling with some of the kids that are top in the state in our room. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really interesting when you walk out of our room and then you wrestle other kids, mm -hmm. and you're like, wow, that I'm doing so much better than I thought I would right. just because mm -hmm. the room, uh, J-Rob actually said the same thing when I went to the 28-day wrestling camp, that uh, you won't realize how much you're improving until you face other competition. That's really true with our room as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because you see, because especially with, uh, uh, with you are everyone being under the same training regimen you, know, you you're there seeing the results every day mm -hmm. but when you go out and face someone else then you're testing your prep uh, preparation versus theirs yeah. when ours is so much better that's right <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm right. not biased no I appreciate that <laughs> no you, and you made a great point earlier you know the 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 academic part of it we offer we do a hour-long study hall every day mm -hmm. the guys are they're at this you know at the school with us from you know, obviously they come in the morning, go through school, but from three to to six thirty. I mean, every day the hour study hall from three to to four, and then practice from four to six thirty. Sometimes a little bit later, and they make a great commitment. It's it's mm -hmm. awesome. It's so rewarding to watch these guys. You know, Hayden, watch Hayden as a little boy just getting started and and learning, and and to watch them grow and and become what they become as as juniors and seniors in high school. It's so rewarding, and and. And our system works. It does work. It, it uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of commitment. But you know, we we there's a saying we always say. You know, anything in life worth having, you know, takes commitment. Mm -hmm. You know, any anything that comes easy is not something that exactly. that you that you want forever. Anything that's worth value or of value over the long run in your life is going to take hard work. And, mm -hmm. and uh, him and his his classmates and his teammates are a great example of of that. You know, like just put the time and effort in be committed and, and amazing things will happen. So we're, we're real proud of these guys, extremely proud of him. I mean, mm -hmm. if you, seventh graders winning state titles, a lot of people don't believe that can happen. You know, when you start in seventh grade, our program's kind of built on that. And he's, mm -hmm. he's a great example of that. You put the time in and be a good teammate and be a good person, great things will happen for you. So mm -hmm. we're proud of those guys. So Coach Day, why don't you talk about a little bit about over the past couple of years, because uh, you guys have been to the states, how many times in like the past five years? Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to give you that moment. Well, I appreciate that. That's <laughs> um, so this year, uh, this year you guys didn't take states. Um, no. Last year you guys did, though, right? Uh, no, we, we actually we before. if you, we were runner up last year and runner up this year. we lost by a point. We lost twenty five twenty six. Oh, and uh, actually, Hayden's Hayden's sophomore year, we won a criteria. It was twenty eight twenty eight. We won mm -hmm. a criteria. So. Uh, there's a lot of great competition out there. We've been, you know, really fortunate. We've been, we're in the hunt every year. Mm -hmm. And our kids, you know, we didn't win it this year. I know Hay Hayden and his teammates are bummed about it, but our kids gave an amazing effort, yeah. you know. So we're, we're really proud of them. And, and, you know, it's it's awesome to make it there. Our goal is to win it every year. But to know that these kids put their heart and soul into it, that's all, as coaches, all we want, you know, and, and to watch them grow and develop, so. So when does uh, training start for next season? Uh, last Monday, we started lifting <laughs> weights. You know, we got done. Season ended on a Saturday, and, and uh, we were in the weight room on Sunday. We won't get back on the mats for a couple couple weeks or so, but, you know, all of our kids play multiple sports. So, mm -hmm. you know, at Richmond, we want to be good at everything. Our football right. team's good. Baseball's good. You know, uh, cheerleading just won the state championship, right. you know. So um, basketball had a great year. So we, we want our kids to, to train. You know, and, may, and not maybe not being in the wrestling room all the time, but we want them to lift. We want we want to do the speed and agility stuff. So, myself and John Coker, our head football coach, the 
that Monday after our season ends, we're in there at three o'clock, and there's 40 kids in there working, and and uh, and it's it's awesome. When That's conditioning cool. like that, well, uh, like you said, will help all the sporting events, all 100%. the kids that want to be part of all right. the different programs, whether you want to be part of baseball, softball, right. or baseball, or baseball, softball, right. or soccer, track. Girls. You know, Coach Trent and Coach Boyd were my assistants. They coach mm -hmm. track here, and and that's you know if i if i can say one thing about our consistency the one thing i think and hayden will agree um i don't think you'll find a place that cares more about kids mm -hmm. than richmond and that's yeah. why we're successful so you have a lot of people that give a ton of time because they love the kids and they we're successful because those people give the mm -hmm. you know coaches parents kids alumni community everybody so that's that's the reason why we've had sustained success the investment back into our, our student athletes is amazing. You know, if so. I can bounce off of that, my, my team's been saying this year, uh, the underclassmen, hey, I'm gonna miss you guys so much and I, I, I can't believe this is over. And I'm like, this is not goodbye. <laughs> right. I'm gonna be back in that right. room yeah. next year, making sure you guys get the exactly. best shot you can have at that Same way title. guys did for you. Yeah, right? yeah. It, it's, it's not over. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that's, that's a great showmanship of that is our alumni are just fantastic. They come back. Right and they help out as much mm -hmm. as they can. Alex Roberts trained with me several times this year. Both the Bergs, Nick and Brett, came back a ton. I trained with them a ton. Yeah, Aaron and Kilburn. Aaron Kilburn yeah, did a great yeah. job helping me out this year as well. Yeah. Coach Trent was also a former wrestler. Yeah, yeah. 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 class of 2010. Yep. yep. So state, state championship team. So having that yeah. kind of, uh, having alumni come back, I'm sure, is a huge help to wow. any boost to any program especially to it's wrestling. awesome it's you know i mean that's how you stay consistent you know mm -hmm. th those guys every every single the only guy that didn't graduate from richmond high school on my staff is me <laughs> everybody else are guys that i coached or they're I didn't you know think about that. they're right. wrestling yeah. for, they're <laughs> wrestling for george hamlin so i mean mm -hmm. tradition is important you know we in our t-shirts it says family and that's not i see a lot of teams put you know that on their stuff and that that's not just a slogan for us i mean it's I can't wait to watch this guy grow up and, and, you know, when he gets married or he has kids, be a part of that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And same thing with Coach Tran and, and Coach Misko and the Bergs and Coach Boyd and, and uh, all the guys that help us. That's, that's, uh, it's a family. It is. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not always, you know, there are days that I got to tell him what he doesn't want to hear to get him where he wants to be. Mm -hmm. But he knows that, that I'm there for him 100%. Right. And, and that's, it's special. You know, mm -hmm. it, it is. I mean, and that's. That's not bragging or being arrogant. That's just a lot of people invest a lot of time and love these guys, and, and the result is, is pretty awesome. So, Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I just, you know, we're, again, you know, thankful to be part of the Richmond community, thankful to be, you know, we have our principal, our athletic director, I mean, the superintendent have been so supportive for these guys. I mean, it, all the awesome, you know, parents and, and alumni, you know, that, that give back, the the businesses, I mean, we have people that go out and the businesses give so much to all of our sports, you know, so we're mm -hmm. we're just extremely proud of these guys and, and uh, hopefully we're sitting here next year and, you know, there's a new Hayden Bastion that Hayden Bastion has helped develop and put in that seat, you know, mm -hmm. so we're we're blessed and, and Richmond's a special place and extremely thankful for you having us. So. No problem. Hayden, is there anything you'd like, uh, any last words you'd like to say for the show? I'd really like to shout out the other wrestlers that place in the, the state tournament. Hunter Seguin taking fifth, uh, Luke Davis taking runner-up, Hunter Keller taking runner-up, uh, Wesley took what, sixth? Sixth, yeah. Sixth place, and uh, Austin Kilburn took third, right? Yeah. yeah, third. We had a ton of wrestlers that did a great job and made, what, oh, 13 out of districts, 11 out of regionals. Right. Mm -hmm. We had a ton of great guys this year, a ton of mm -hmm. great guys. Yeah. So Great. Proud of all. Well, thank you, uh, thank you, Coach Day and uh, Hayden for joining me today. Oh. Uh, we will be right back with Eleanor Schmidt from the RHS Drama Club. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Richmond TV's Community Focus. I'm your host, Jason Robbins, and we have a great show for you lined up today. We have Eleanor Schmidt and... Connor Sofa from the 
uh, RHS Drama Club to talk about Annie. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. So tell us a little bit about Annie. What's it about? So, I mean, I'm sure everybody knows the musical Annie, um, but it's basically about a little girl growing up in the 1930s and she's an orphan. And it's about her trying to find a family and a place where she belongs in the world. Um, and along the way, you meet some characters that are not so nice, like Miss mm -hmm. Hannigan, Rooster, and Lily. Um, they're kind of conniving and trying to get money out of Daddy Warbucks, who is going to adopt Annie. Um, so there's a lot of characters in it that are really fun um, mm -hmm. to watch. And then in addition just to the storyline, there is some factual history in it because it is taking place in the 30s during the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. um, FDR is in it. Um, they talk about Hoovervilles and what the people of America were going through during the 1930s. So you mm -hmm. do get a little bit of taste of that. It's very subtle, um, but it's the underlying um, push of the entire show. Okay, so uh, who's going to be starring? So Olivia Wofford is playing Annie, and our um, Daddy Warbucks is actually Rachel Tavano. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that sounds like sounds like an interesting pick. Yeah, it <laughs> is. Um, she did a great audition, so she is playing Daddy Warbucks, and it works, and uh, they're having a lot of fun with it. That's that's really good. Um, how about how many people do you have uh, helping uh, with the show? We have just over twenty. Okay. Um, Helping wise, we probably have closer to about 25 to 30. Mm -hmm. um, plus, once we add in all of our stage crew. Yeah. And uh, the nice thing about this, too, is it's kind of like a joint effort. So, mm -hmm. we actually allowed middle schoolers to audition as well because we needed some younger mm -hmm. children for the orphans um, and for the choruses. Um, so, it's kind of like a nice little situation that we have going on because we have our high schoolers and our middle schoolers, and they're kind of mentoring them um, and giving them a taste of what they can look forward to when they join high school. Exactly. You've already got, you've already got exposed to them that this is something that they might want to do when they get there exactly um so when uh, when is the play taking place um the place is going to uh, start on march 22nd and 23rd at 7 p.m and on the 24th at 3 p.m mm -hmm. okay um how much are tickets five dollars for students and eight dollars for adults okay now connor you're the student director yes so what does that mean when uh what do you do at, uh, for the play um essentially anything that eleanor isn't able to do at the time because she's busy working with the others. Um, I would work on props, uh, the behind the scenes, building the set. Mm -hmm. uh, during the show, I'm going to be doing Q to Q, so I'll help out the stage manager when I, they need to know when mm -hmm. they need to do something. Okay. So it sounds like you got a lot of tasks, uh, tasks to do. Yeah. <laughs> Keep busy that night. Um, <coughs> How did you get involved in RHS Drama Club? Um, my sophomore year, I tried out for Play On, and since then I've been doing the shows. Are you a senior? Yes. Oh, what are you planning on doing after, are you planning on getting into theater as a career or mm -hmm. are you, yeah? Yes. yes. Uh, are you planning on acting or do you like the behind the scenes stuff? Behind the scenes for sure. Okay. So we're going to see, on Bro we're going to see one of your plays on Broadway, huh? One day, huh? If I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been rehearsing for this play? Um, we actually had auditions uh, right after winter break, uh, so the beginning of January. Um, so by the third work week of January, uh, we were in full rehearsals, and mm -hmm. um, we had a good turnout um, as far as students go. Uh, we had a nice mixture of high schooler and middle schoolers. There was a lot of interest in the middle school, which was really nice um, just for our program, like from years to come, that we have like a good base to continue to grow the program. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a really nice surprise. Um, and we normally practice about anywhere from three to four days a week. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we rotate. so. One day we'll be blocking, and blocking is just like giving them the direction of where they're entering on stage mm. and what they're doing on stage. And then we have dance practices and music practices mm. where they have to learn the music. Um, that's the one thing about you yeah. know musicals is mm. that it's very has a lot of different facets that go into it. So you have to be able to think fast and like change things if need be. But they have to worry about lines and mm. music and dances and memorizing all of that and putting it together. Mm. Um, which then gives us the entire production. Okay. Um, so how uh, is the set for this one going to be pretty simple or pretty elaborate? Um, simple yet elaborate, I guess, <laughs> a little bit of both. Um, so it is a little bit of a bigger set. Um, we have multiple scenes. Um, mm -hmm. So we go between like the orphanage and NYC and Daddy Warbucks Mansion and Hooverville. And so there's a lot of different moving parts. Mm -hmm. um, so we've sort of gotten a little creative as far as doubling up things. So mm -hmm. we have flats that will be turning like a storybook and go to the next scene in, it's in mm -hmm. the um, show so that you can 
sort of have that visual. I'm very big on like having the sets and costume, you know, every down to every down to like every little detail. Um, mm -hmm. It's really important to me because you know, for me as a, an audience member, when I go to see a show, that's like the first thing I notice mm -hmm. is the costumes and the set, and so I want that to reflect positively, um, right. and I like it to be detailed. Um, so it's a little bit of both, simple yet a little bit, I guess. So how would you recreate, uh, so in, so when you're having to go from scene to scene like that, how can you do something ela uh, elaborate with like a Hooverville and trying to reconstruct that right. historically <coughs> accurate, but at the exactly. same time with a very, very small So <laughs> um, the nice thing about that is like we have flats and mm. wheels. Um, so what we're doing for that is we're having um, our scenic artists literally paint the set mm. for the Hooverville and then we'll use set pieces um, like wooden crates and like uh, tin garbage ba uh, garbage bags uh, garbage <laughs> uh, cans um, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing to sort of create the ambiance of what a Hooverville would be mm -hmm. um, and then like so one side will be the Hooverville and then we'll flip it and that could be NYC that's okay. kind of what we're doing and then we have a platform that's like 24 feet long mm -hmm. um, you know that's about three feet up and that will act as our orphanage and then also our mansion so you have to get creative so there's a lot of you know for orphans you have to right. have so many beds and so we actually dueled the beds also as our stairs for the daddy warbucks mansion mm -hmm. so they all get put into place and then those are the big staircase going up okay. so you just got to be creative so you can still be elaborate but it has to be multi-purpose so whatever you're using has to be dueled so if you're using one flat that's one flat might be for two different scenes okay. rather than just one okay. um, yeah so um, is, Rich, is the RHS Drama Club on social media? We are. Um, we have an Instagram at RHS underscore stage. And we also have a Facebook at Richmond Drama. Okay. And um, any information for any shows that you, uh, you as you go throughout the, uh, the year? So you guys have two shows a year, correct? Correct. We do normally a straight show in the fall, mm -hmm. um, so that's like a play, and then in the spring we do our musicals. Um, so at the high school we do those two shows, and we, you can always find audition information mm -hmm. or coming shows if you want to just go see the show. That will always be on our social media um, platforms so that you can always know what's in the the now and what's going okay. on. And, uh, and this is going to be at the RA, uh, Richmond High School Auditorium, correct? Correct. It okay. will be in the Richmond High School Auditorium. Um, like I said, on that Friday and Saturday show, the 22nd and 23rd, it's at 7 p.m. And on that Sunday show, the 24th, it's at 3 p.m. And doors will always open normally, but it's always 30 minutes prior to the show. You can enter to go find your seat because it will be general admission. Okay. All right. Thank you, Eleanor. Thank you. And thank you, Connor, for joining me today. Uh, you can check out Annie from the uh, being put on by the RHS Drama Club on March 22nd and 23rd at 7 p.m. and March 24th at 3 p.m. Um, you can find the uh, RHS Drama Club on Facebook at Richmond Drama and on Instagram at RHS underscore stage. Tickets are $5 for students and $8 for adults. Think, uh, you can also check out Richmond TV on our YouTube channel and, uh, and on our channel 6 if you live in the Richmond area. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.